One of the most feared leaders in the Islamic world is the spiritual leader of Iran, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, is titled Iran's supreme leader. In terms of constitutional authority, Mr Khamenei is plainly the most powerful man in the Islamic Republic. No decision can be taken without his consent. Some Western experts think he is more powerful now than at any time in his 19 years as leader. The most influential institution in Iran's elaborate power structure, including the Revolutionary Guards, the Guardian Council, the Presidency and Parliament, are all still run by direct appointments of the supreme leader or by people unfailingly obsequious to him. Yet Mr Khamenei wields his power lightly to the extent that he often seems aloof. He is thought not to have left Iran since 1989. He rarely meets journalists or visiting Western officials. As you can find in the terms supreme leader, he has an absolute power in management of the country. However, as Iran is supposed to be a republic government, besides the supreme leader power, the political issues are a whole mess. The formal bureaucracy of Iran consists of four fundamental bases – the elite congress, the parliament, the government and judicial system. And the supreme leader has a superior power over all four sections. The forehead schematic figure is a good perspective for Supreme Leader bias on different sections of bureaucracy system. The Supreme Leader has legal and illegal power to affect different sections of government. Moreover, the Supreme Leader is the head of all military organizations. Khamenei has been Iran's Supreme Leader since 1989, making him the second longest serving autocrat in the Middle East after Oman Sultan, as well as the second longest serving Iranian leader of the last century after Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi. He hasn't left Iran since becoming Supreme Leader. Khamenei's paramount concerns are to preserve his own power and ensure the survival of the Islamic theocracy, which he believes is based on principles of justice, independence, self-sufficiency and piety. Khamenei was born in 1939 to a traditional family of humble origins. His father was a cleric and he began his religious education at a young age. In his early 20s, he studied under Ayatollah Khomeini. Through Khomeini, he became involved in the rebellion against Shah. He was arrested numerous times in the 1960s and 1970s, spending several years in prison.